Hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today we're going to be talking about accessories, and we are going to be joined by the effervescent Coach Vic. <laughs> but as Coach Vic and I learned when we were on our travels to California, oh my knees, oh, oh you get old. <sighs> Let me get a chair. <laughs> So you're getting a couple of views of what we do, and this is how we do a lot of this stuff. We have different cameras, different angles, and all that stuff. But what we discovered uh, when we were traveling to uh, California was there are a lot of modifications that are absolutely necessary. Some that you want, but aren't really necessary for travel. So what we tried to do was separate the wheat from the chaff. We want to let you know that every accessory that we have is nice and they're nice to have but we're going to do a rating of one to five and what we feel a one would be nice to have but not really necessary three necessary maybe half the time and a five is something you definitely want before you tour so coach Vic, you ready to get this thing started yes i am but before we get going on the video or any of this stuff i want to i want to take this opportunity to remind you to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and also to stick around because we are gonna have an episode of CB3's Riders Rides. We've had quite a few of submissions this week, and if you submitted your pictures and I've got them in time, they'll be on there. If not, they'll be on there next Wednesday. Yep. So we're gonna get all that going, and let's look at our accessories. Ooh, lots of accessories. And a little spider sticky surprise. There's more than just buying a Can-Am. You gotta buy the accessories. It's been a, a non-frugal year. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, if Coach Bob's involved, it is non-frugal. Coach Vic, are you cheap? Yes, I am. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Uh-oh. And uh, then you can tell me your thoughts on all this stuff. So the first thing, Coach Vic, is the uh, Ultra Guard cover. What do you think of the cover, and do you think it's necessary? One to five. I give it a five, because it keeps it covered. Because Coach Bob says he needs it, so I'll give it a five. <laughs> this is gonna, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna average her score and my score out. We did not talk about this beforehand, and she can't cheat off of me. That's why I have her going first. I'm gonna give the Ultra Guard cover a two. And the reason I say a two is it's nice to have, and it's wonderful in the rain, but you can certainly cross continents without a cover. We did it, we went uh, to California and back no cover the cover is nice and in this part of the country where we have a lot of rain it's probably more necessary than in the drier areas but I would so, give it a five if you need it for the rain so coach Vic gives it a five I give it a two a five plus two is oh seven 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 divided by two is three and a half three point five so three and a half stars for the cover let's get this cover off here by the way I will be putting down below in the order of this video these pieces and what they cost by the way this cover is the ultra guard cover it is available through sling mods and i'll have the uh, description down below this is the uh 457 ultra guard 457 half cover and it is 45 dollars 95 through sling mods who has been a supporter of this channel we appreciate you so the next accessory we're going to talk about is the brp armrests these right here coach vic one to five I give the armrest a five. I give the armrest a five as well. They're absolutely oh. necessary. Uh, if you have a passenger and you're doing big miles, they need these armrests. Yes, the armrests will work wonders. So the armrest from BRP, I definitely five stars across you the need board. To get the armrest, absolute yes. necessity. Yep. Now, this next group, I'm going to call it a group because I'm going to take these two pieces and group them together. And that is the BRP wiring harness. That is the BRP trailer hitch. And that is the BRP freedom trailer. Uh, all which for us, I'm going to go ahead and show my hand. For me, it's a five. Yes. An absolute five. This is a must for us. With the wheelchair and the things that we have to carry, it is just absolutely right. a necessity. Have, couldn't have traveled without the trailer. So I know you all have seen our trailer hitch. I don't have it all connected. I wanted you to be able to see. Here's the connector. There's where it plugs in. Nice, very, very simple. Safety. And the trailer itself. So that is all of the BRP and sling mod stuff we have on there. 
we're going via manufacturer if you haven't noticed that the next manufacturer we're going to talk about is can-am spider accessories that is pierre uh poliquin he has also been a supporter of this channel and been very helpful to me uh, please show your support by going to his webpage, ordering something. He's got a lot of things on sale. The prices that I'm going to be showing are manufacturer suggested retail price. And so uh, it could be less than that if you go on their actual channel. You'll see that the prices are kind of popping up in here as we're talking about them. So let's talk about in the sequence that I put these things on. Are you making faces at me again? Yeah, we're going to get extra thumbs up for her doing that, I'm sure. He's going to hate me when he sees the video. <laughs> He's going to go recut everything. She's a bad person. So the next up is the Can-Am Spider Accessories floorboard risers. Up and down. And they can, they can raise up and down. And being my legs are so short, these have worked out great. Now, Coach Vic, one to five, the necessity of the floorboard risers. I'll give it a five, although I wasn't aware of it at first because you're the one that told me my legs were hanging too low. But once we got it, my legs were set just right. It works out really well. And plus, you can sit on them when we go on little breaks. This is what we do when, yeah. when I get to places. This is kind of our picnic <laughs> table. Um, I agree, Coach Vic. These are a five. These are a definite must if you have uh, someone who's vertically challenged in the back seat. <laughs> Um, you definitely need those. They uh, they make their leg position a lot better and uh, can, can save you a lot of headache when you're putting in those big miles. So the next thing through Can-Am Spider Accessories that we got was the dual USB port. Wow. Now, as the driver, I'm going to tell you uh, it's five stars. I, I mean, I need I absolutely needed that. It was not even a want. Right. He needed it. So yeah. would you give it five as well, or would yeah, you give it less Yeah, because you need because you needed it. Otherwise, you um, wouldn't know you wouldn't, where we we're going. <laughs> you wouldn't know where we're going. Yeah. Not having a USB port that is accessible from your handlebar uh, on a touring machine is absolutely. It's just unpardonable in today's world. It is so easy for a manufacturer to put a USB port, something up there. And with the way that we have to use GPSs nowadays, you can, so often you can't even buy a map because we can't use paper maps anymore. I still like paper, but the, this thing works The out. USB port, the dual USB port absolutely works perfectly. It has been water resistant. It has not created a problem. It has the little cover on the top of it. It's lit in the dark. Oh. Um, it, 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 it's, a, it's a fine piece of kit. So I would say that you definitely need to get you one of them. So five stars. Get you one of them. Five stars. What else we get from k and Spider Accessories, Coach Vic? Do you remember? Ha ha, here's a hint. Oh, the backrest. Removable backrest. The driver's backrest is an absolute must. It, it, it just, I don't, I would be completely lost without it on the long miles. I will say this though, the, this is, this, I bought this through K&M Spider Accessories, but it's made by Big Bike Parts or Show Chrome, that, that company, it's a Hoffnell brand. The quality of it is meh for the price that it is, but it's, it's necessary. And for us, the BRP one would not just pop in and out. And so this gave us the ability to take that that thing in and out, which we really needed to do because we didn't want to hit Coach Vic and hurt her, hurt her as I put her on and off the bike. I'm going to show you what I mean. You can fold it down, but even folded down, all of this is very difficult because I have to put Vic in here. I'd have to lift her up and over that. It would be darn near impossible. What are you saying about me there, Coach Bob? I'm saying if you were married to a younger man, it would be a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> a, oh, be, a better athlete than me. Oh my goodness. All right, so the backrest, I'm going to give it five. Coach Vic, what do you think? I'm going to say a five. Right. It's just, it's something that, you know, we're not rating whether whether we think it's the finest quality or not. We're rating, is it necessary for touring? Yeah. And I think it is. And, I, and, the, and the backrest has a little backpack on the back. Yeah, it does Which have a little pouch. Which is good for me because I get to keep my snacks, phone, or my glasses. Hey, what is all that in there? What you got in there? I have things in there. You got skit? Do you have Skittles in there? Is there Skittles in there? So the next thing is something that I like, and I'm gonna do a review on this here soon, uh, as a request. I did not clean things up for this video because I wanted you to see what's what. The Can-Am Spider Accessory Grill Guards. Now, everyone who has a spider knows that the front end of this thing 
is an absolute vacuum cleaner and it pulls debris up in there. When we traveled, the debris was not a problem. I did not clean those things out one time as we crossed the country and it has thinned out what gets in there unbelievably. So And they look nice. They do. They look good. I would say as far as fashion, there are five. As far as function, are they necessary for you to tour? No, but they look cool. And I'm going to agree with Coach Vic on that. I would, In fact, I'm going to go a one. They're just not a necessary one. to tour. Oh. Now, as far as fashion or coolness, there are five. But we're not rating on fashion and coolness. We're simply going to tour. Do you need them? No, you don't need those. You don't need the cover. You can get by without those. But everything else we've talked about, I would have before I got on the road. All right, so that's everything we got from Can-Am Spider Accessories. That will all be listed down below. Make sure you give Pierre a check, look, see, and all that stuff, and buy some stuff. Buy some of the spider grills. They are really cool. So the next manufacturer we're going to talk about is Le Monster. Now, Love this guy's uh, stuff. To me, he appears to be a machinist type guy. All of his stuff is heavy duty, finely made. I really, really like his stuff. Um, so let's talk about, first off, the easy things that are absolutely necessary. We're just gonna say this. Water bottle holder, drink holder, water bottle holder, coffee holder. I get a five. That's a five. Now, I used to drive like that with my water bottle sitting like that, and it works, but I do like this. This is my... This is nice. I like using this. So the water bottle holder for her is a five. And it's not like really fancy, but it's very functional and works. Now I'm going to talk about my bottle holder, which is this monstrosity right here. You need a water bottle holder. You need a water cage of some kind. I would say get one that's a five. This is the Ram mount one. Now I ordered it through Le Monster, but he did not make this. This is made by Ram. Uh, I give that a negative five. I hate this thing. Ooh. I hate it. It's ugly, it's big, and it leaves water bottles on every corner in the United States of yeah, America. They just fly off. But it's it's what I have for right now and I just until we go on a tour, I'm not going to replace it. When we do, this is the first thing to go. This right here. That's where it's going to end up cuz I'm going to tell you that thing is a bitch. <laughs> do you I I guarantee you I've lost more water bottles and water things that have cost more than the price of this thing. If okay. I have my water bottle down to here and I have it in here and we go on bumps in the wind, it still doesn't blow out. My, I've never lost a water bottle. I've lost cups, bottles, koozies. I, I wrapped things with little rubber straps and koozies to keep it from bouncing around. I've had it in there so tight and it still flies out. I'll tell you that, I'm done with it. Anyway, enough of that. So I give that water bottle necessity is a five, but that particular product I, I just wouldn't waste my time on it. Phone holder. Phone holder and spider cuff. I'm going to tell you this. Quality is off the chart on both of these things. The quality is absolutely off the chart. It is by far the spider cuff is one of the best investments I've made for my spider. If you don't have a spider cuff, you need one. That is an absolute necessity for mounting accessories. Uh, water bottle holders, phone mounts, all that stuff. It looks good, it's quality, it's strong. It's just a well-made piece of work. You need a spider cuff. They are expensive, they're 90 bucks for a piece of metal that wraps around your handlebar. But it solves all of your problems and you're not using little chintzy screws to put in somewhere in the back of your handlebar that it, that it wasn't designed structurally to hold anything. So the spider cuff, is a definite must. And the spider cuff, I have on top of it the Le Monster approved phone mount. This thing has been rock solid. Now, those who've been a part of the channel for a while realize I do run a safety lanyard. This phone mount has not failed me one single time. And I'm telling you, we have run this thing 9,000 miles. 9,000 miles. And in some conditions and on some road surfaces, that would literally make your heart pound. So it, it is an absolute solid piece of work. Spider cuff and phone mount, I'm gonna put a link in there that has both of them with the price of both of them as a kit right up here. You can check it out on his webpage. Also, something that you cannot see, the magic mirrors. They're magnetic. You can see how solid this is. I can just pull these off. Oh, and the magic mirrors. Like that. 
I got those as a gift from Cabinet Man. Thank you, Cabinet Man. That's a wonderful gift. He's a fine fella. The Le Monster ones, I think, are more solid than any that I've seen. I have seen other companies. I don't know what they're all the other companies are doing. Maybe they're all the same now, but I know that when I was doing my research, Le Monster made the finest ones, the strongest ones, and they worked great. We have one more accessory. We're gonna show you it's something that does not attach. Oh, yes. That's this right. This right here is the butt buffer. We have a review on it. We'll post the link to all of these things. All of the videos that where we installed these things, you'll see cards flashing in and out of the video the whole time. That worked wonders. The butt buffer, it saved us a lot of I trouble. I did that over a five. Definitely yeah. five plus. Whether it be the butt buffer or any other type of pad, whatever you're comfortable with, this has worked wonders for us. If the lighting looks different, it's because it is different. Um, I actually went inside and realized I forgot to show you. I was saving the best for last, <laughs> and obviously... It slipped our minds as it was a little chilly out here today. Um, and it's even colder now, but that's okay. The No Bad Vibes Highway Pegs from Le Monster. They are an absolute must. If you have an RT, I can't speak for the 20s and laters as far as legroom is concerned, but for the 2019s and earlier, the amount of legroom that you have, especially if you're a little taller like I am, um, it can get a little, you can cramp up if you're on this thing for hours and hours and hours. And the No Bad Vibes pegs, and I got the Curry Aiken pegs that, that Le Monster has that you can order right there as one kit through him. It is a beautiful piece, uh, and I absolutely love them. As you can see, the quality on these things, the fit and finish, everything about them. He provides all of the bolt covers, everything. I mean, it is just a beautiful piece of work. So Le Monster, no bad vibes pegs, absolutely five stars, an absolute must for those long road trips. The things that we've listed, the everything that we have is a five with the exception of the spider grills and the cover, but they're, they're nice to have. Yes. They're nice to have and they, they do help you along the way and they can certainly protect your machine. And those are for protection alone. I, I like the spider grills, like I said, for multiple reasons. Um, or it could save, it, it can save you some real headache. I like the cover for multiple reasons. It can save you some headache. But you can cross the country, you can cross continents without those things. The other things, I'm gonna tell you, unless you're just like super strong and you don't mind riding in pain, you need the other things. All right, Coach Vic, you have something you want to show. Yeah, let's try to put my spider on. Coach Vic a spider. made a spider. <laughs> um, I want it because it's hanging. It's dangling? Or we can take that off and just have the spider sitting there. We can hang it. You want it right here? You want it on this side or the other side? So we're going to go right here to the other side. We're going to put Coach Vic's spider on here, and then we'll show you the uh, the aftermath. <laughs> Coach Vic, is this going to work? We're going to find out, so I either can have it hanging right back here. We can just try. You want it right there? We'll try it. Okay. If it doesn't work out, we'll just take it off. Well, let's clean the surface real well before you do that. Okay, clean it. Clean it, clean it, clean it. Ooh. Ooh, it's scary. <laughs> Scary. You want me to peel it or you got it? I want to try. You can do it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on. Hang here. here. Hold it, you hold it, because you need two hands. Maybe right? you need to press, you need to press right. it on so, harder. So what, you need, what you're going to need to do is you peel this back. You don't pull up. You pull across, pressing down like this. Okay. Of course, Coach Vic can't do it. Coach Bob has to do it. You don't want to lift. Okay. You want to pull across. I know. That way you're not pulling the decal off. I'm not using the right tape because when I did it, I didn't have the right tape. We used what we had. So right? I went out and bought the right transfer tape. So next time I make some, it'll be done the right, right. way. Okay. Oh, there's a little piece on his Ooh. face. You got it. Come on. You got it. There you go. But there's the spider. Spider for a spider. <laughs> <laughs> so Coach Vic's first project, and yes, it worked. Congratulations, Yay. Coach Vic. That's my little spider friend. Yep. Gotta have a spider on the spider. It's good. So now I'm gonna get a white one and put it on the trailer. Maybe you can get a big old giant one. Cover the whole top. No. So thanks for hanging around with us today. We appreciate it. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And would you do you have anything else you would like to add there, Coach B? Uh, not really. 
been a fun year riding with the Can Am. You ready to do uh, Key West of Maine next year? Yeah, it's gonna be warmer. It's gonna be, I hope it's not a lot of rain, but it will be warmer. But um, parts of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. CB3's Rider Rides. Yes, sir. Here we are back again after a long hiatus. First up, we've got Tom and Nita, and they are cruising through the Badlands around Mount Rushmore on their beautiful spider. Followed by Brian from East Texas. He's riding the 2019 F3 Limited, who, which he is lovingly named Serenity. He's added cup holders, phone mounts, backrest, and yes, front and rear dash cams and some retro reflectors. You're not going to miss this guy. Next up is Greg. Now Greg has added a fiberglass mesh to the front of the Spider in order to catch some bugs, keeping it nice and clean and ready for the next ride. Jim is from Florida. And uh, I tell you what, from the looks of him, it looks like he's been traveling some of my stomping ground here in Tallahassee. He uh, is from the Leesburg area, but travels all over the country in this cool wrapped Can-Am Spider. Next up is Frank and Amy, and they each have a spider. They're both uh, 2018 F3s. His is black and hers is yellow. And uh, he said she doesn't ride hers as much as he does his, but they do ride together, man. And when you're doing it together, you're doing it right. They live in the North Georgia area, and they just love riding. Next up is Victor. Now, Victor won. Actually, he won one of the raffles. Uh, I believe he got the Sling Mod hat, and he is sharing his beautiful Can-Am Spider. Uh, Victor is has been retired for about six years. And he bought the spider a year ago, and he hasn't gotten to go as far as he wants to yet, but he plans on hitting the road soon. I hope to see you out there soon, Victor. Here we have Pat and Bill on their spider. It's their second one, as a matter of fact. The first one was a 2016 RTS, and uh, he, he comes from a long line of uh, the Harley Davidson and the Indian motorcycles. Uh, the F3, he just loves the comfort of it. He says he's 71 and stills enjoy riding. Sure looks like it, buddy. I hope to see you on the road soon, Bill. Here we have Carl and Beth. Their first date was in 1974 on a 72 Suzuki 750. That is just too cool. They got married in 75. They've had kids and the bike went bye-bye. I understand all of that. But now, oh, how times have changed. They've, uh, they're doing the three-wheel machine shuffle, and they are riding a beautiful Marsala Black RT Limited. Wow, very, very cool. Congratulations to Carl and Beth. And here we have Davey D on his Can-Am Spider. It is uh, called Blue and Black. He says he's ridden a lot of motorcycles, and uh, this has been one of the greatest. He says that finally they got something that him and his wife can enjoy together and that he's really never tired after the run on these like he was on the motorcycles. He loves to get on this thing and go get some ice cream. Sounds like a plan. Next up, we have Todd and he sent some beautiful pictures. Doing some traveling on some mountain roads on board this beautiful Can-Am Spider. Man, he keeps that thing clean, doesn't he? Here we have Denny. He put a wrap on his 2019, and then he upgraded to a 2020. He loved the wrap so much, he put it on the 20 as well. Looking good, buddy. And last, but certainly not least, we got a fellow named Bob. He's got to be a great guy. He's from North Carolina and looks forward to meeting me and Coach Vic on the road sometime. And brother, we look forward to meeting you as well. God bless. So there you have it, another episode of Riders Rides in the books. So remember, until next time, go out, buy the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself, and remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Now, go, go seize, seize the, the day. day.